A new twist into the investigation of a millionaire hedge fund manager's drowning last month in Jupiter. Investigative reporter Terry Parker joins us with exclusive details on the death of CNBC commentator Seth Tobias. Terry? Not only is there a police investigation into Seth Tobias's mysterious drowning last month, there is also a battle between his brothers and his wife over his millions. And more curious details are emerging tonight, including allegations by a gay former pimp and Tobias's associations with a gay go-go dancer. 44-year-old Tobias managed the Wall Street hedge fund and was a commentator on CNBC's Squawk Box. His wife, Philomena, told police she found Seth floating in the pool behind their $3 million Jupiter mansion. Now I've learned that Jupiter detectives flew to San Diego to interview a gay former pimp who claims he was the couple's personal assistant. And he says that Philomena confided in him details about Seth Tobias' death. And here's the clincher. He says those details are on tape, and police have the tapes. I spoke to that man, Billy Ash, by phone today. I was um, her personal assistant, her and Seth's personal assistant. So um, I think for the amount of time that I spent um, with both of them, that it would kind of be normal um, if there was a personal issue. And Billy Ash's name appears on the court file surrounding the fight over Seth Tobias's multi-million dollar estate. Lawyers want to depose him next week. They're also seeking to question a man named Tiger, who works at a gay club called Cupid's in West Palm Beach. Billy Ash tells me that Tiger was a close friend of Seth Tobias's and that Philomena knew him too. Jupiter police confirm they flew to California to interview Billy Ash and say that he did provide them with some information that was somewhat interesting and that they are investigating some of his claims. They say, however, this is still a death investigation, not a homicide, and they are awaiting toxicology reports. One of Philomena Tobias's four lawyers, who was her first husband, told me he has no comment.